Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video here, we're going to go over uh, what I believe to be the solution for internet marketers and for anyone looking for traffic to their website uh, that is actually better than free traffic. I know f everyone's looking for free traffic and free traffic has its place, but I'm, what I'm going to show you right now and over the next uh, half hour or so is going to be uh, what we found better than free traffic. And by better, we mean more effective uh, and an overall better for your business and more profitable. Now before we get started, I just want to clear the air about all of the, the free traffic products out there. Uh, free traffic is great and we're going to show you how to use that free traffic in your business system. But for now, what a lot of marketers need is uh, profitable traffic because free traffic would do nothing for you if it doesn't convert. All right, and quite honestly, getting free traffic if you don't know what you're doing is a lot more work than 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 the alternative that I'm going to show you. So, what in the world could be better than free traffic? Targeted cheap traffic. Targeted targeted cheap traffic rocks. Okay, targeted cheap traffic will, will dominates any other type of traffic in my opinion, and in lots of other marketers' opinion, it has its place just like any like the free traffic. But the targeted cheap traffic is instant, instant results. You get instant data back from the marketplace. You get instant feedback whether what campaign works and what doesn't. You get instant feedback whether a keyword is going to be profitable for you right then and there before you even start going down the road of SEO. A lot of people focus only on the SEO because they want to get started with nothing. They want to get started with zero dollars. Okay. They want to they want to go and they target a word, then only to find out three months later that that word isn't even converting for them. We found that it's a much better approach to go ahead and use targeted cheap traffic, and by cheap I mean cheap. Okay, I'm talking about the next best thing to paying zero dollars is one cent, one cent for a click. Okay, I'm going to show you inside how to set up so that you can partner with one of the biggest search engines in the world to get one sick clicks but not only that we're going to show you how to convert that a lot of people have different tactics on getting one sick clicks and some is some is uh... you know some of it's kind of sketchy and some of it's legit but the key the secret sauce in this whole process is how to convert that traffic if you can make the one sick clicks work for you now you're in business and you're much better off than spending twenty four hours uh... optimizing you know, or I'd say 24 days for that matter, optimizing for a keyword that you don't even know is going to convert. You can guess, you can read the stats, you can look at use your your your, your magic software, but you don't know until it actually goes into the marketplace. You don't believe me? Ask the the thousands of marketers that got wiped out by the Panda, Google Panda update, who thought they had a bulletproof business plan, but all of a sudden woke up with their sites not even in Google, completely obliterated. So. Better than free traffic, targeted cheap traffic, let's get into it and see how to get these instant results for dirt, dirt cheap. First thing you want to do is head over to Google and set yourself up a Google AdWords account. If you don't already have one, you're going to go to adwords.google.com. Now, a lot of you are going to be really skeptical when it comes to Google, okay, and when it comes to uh, buying traffic from Google, and you have the right to because Google hasn't treated marketers and, 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 and business, small business people that nicely over the past years. Uh, some businesses have, but some businesses have been hit really hard. So I can understand that, uh, having kind of a, a bad taste in your mouth. But what you're about to learn, I promise you, will change all of that. You see, we're not going to concern ourselves with Google pay-per-click. All right, we don't want any anything to do with that with this method. That's not what this is about. We're not going to concern ourselves with, uh, you know, quality scores and all of the crap that people hate about Google AdWords. We're going to shave that off, and this method focuses solely on the stuff that you used to love about Google Pay Per Click. And if you've never done Google Pay Per Click, well, you're in for a surprise because this is going to be much easier than anything that you could have imagined before as far as getting instant. I mean, I'm talking huge volumes of traffic uh, for, for dirt, dirt cheap. We're going to do this uh, using what Google calls Google Image Ads. 
okay Google image ads I guarantee it will change your mindset about Google and the bad taste that you may have in your mouth if you don't uh, you'll soon see why it's out one of our favorite forms of cheap traffic and it, it, it's so cheap it's, it's damn close to being free when you look at the conversions uh, on the back end but we'll talk more about that later now I'll admit I myself was skeptical of this method because I too had a bad experience with Google and uh, I, I really you know I, I tried this uh, at the request of an associate and the results have been nothing short of stellar alright so here's inside my account okay this is a, uh, an account just for this one test that we ran uh, and this was the first of many tests to come after that we've since shifted this to our prime funnel filling traffic method that fills the funnel for just about every business every uh, every every traffic need that we have have if we want to test the offer if we want to test the campaign uh, we can usually start with this form of traffic what you're looking at is the breakdown here of the campaign uh, it's, it's this campaign here in the middle okay and you can see here that we had 1079 clicks now I have to admit I was completely shocked by the number of clicks that this campaign got during a, 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 about a 10 day period especially since this was during a 10 day period I mean you're talking about over a million eyeballs that saw my ad okay forget about the click through rate for a minute because of course it's going to be lower it's an image ad you know and it doesn't it doesn't affect the, any sort of any type of quality score or anything like that but more importantly I got all of this traffic this 1729 clicks okay which by the way converted at five percent with the offer that we had going with it okay uh, in the end that if you take that 17 let's pull up the calculator here all right so we have uh, let's see here thousand seven hundred and twenty nine clicks and we're going to actually multiply that times point oh five seven three four five point seven three conversion and that turned out to about ninety nine actual convert ninety nine people who who ended up buying uh, it was a very cheap product was just for a test uh... it was nine dollars and ninety seven cents so we'll do times nine ninety seven and came out to about nine hundred eighty seven dollars in sales now you may not say that's not breaking the bank but look at what it cost to generate that profit okay we're talking about forty six dollars here forty six dollars and sixty four cents for a thousand clicks in just a over a week not bad okay we're talking about less than less than five cents per click here looks like we're paying three cents per click on average sometimes one sometimes five four but on average three cents a click folks this is better then free traffic I know exactly when you finish with this you will too you will know exactly uh, what type of ads convert you'll know exactly what type of keywords uh, that people are using to find your site by looking at your stats which can tell you which ones then you can go and optimize those through uh, the search free traffic methods that we'll get into but this is instant gratification done cheap alright let's just say for example you don't have the forty dollars to test with okay maybe you have twenty dollars at one cents a click do you know how many clicks you can get for twenty dollars is quickly obviously you can do the quick math I'm just gonna show it to you laid out two thousand clicks two thousand clicks is enough to see if any offer converts for twenty bucks alright if you paid if you paid a, a virtual assistant twenty dollars for the entire week to S, you know, to optimize, and that would be considered cheap. I mean, that would be like you just got you robbed the guy, and he went and he optimized for your one keyword, and he actually got some backlinking going, and he got some things going. And even if you got to the first page of Google with that twenty dollars, you did it for that one keyword, and you found out that it didn't convert. For that same twenty dollars, using this tactic, you have cast a wider net. You're out there getting conversions. You're getting clicks and you're making money all right that is the power in this system and this is what and this is what we're going to show you how to do 
Not bad, huh? And the best part is that the image ads, they're very, very easy to create. All right. So you don't have to be talented and think that you have to be some designer to make get this done. Uh, it, it's, it's a very simple process. Okay, so once you're all set up and you're signed into Google, you're going to want to uh, go to the Opportunities tab that you see here. Okay, you click on that, and all the ideas they have here for all the type of online campaigns will come up. You want to go and you want to click on the Keyword Tool, which which can also be found right here in Reporting and Tools. So after you do that. You'll be taken to a page that looks something like this. Okay, I'm going to tell you this step here is going to take you a while. It's going to be a little tedious. All right, but the key is to get as much traffic as you can with this method. All right, this is this is this is the absolute golden nugget portion of this uh, of this system, other than converting the traffic, which we'll talk about later. But this is absolutely crucial. So don't skimp on it now because without this, you're not going to see the results that you're looking for. And we've learned, we've tried this in many different ways, many different angles that, you know, there's a lot of different variations that you can use. This is the winner right here, given to you in a silver platter. So I hope you enjoy it. So what you want to do is come here and you want to type in the key phrase uh, that, you know, that best represents the niche that you're marketing for, okay? Now, if you can't think of any, then you can enter, you know, a website or a competitor that has the same niche uh, or the type of keywords that, you know, that you're looking for. Uh, for here you can let's just put in uh the the uh the all time great here lose weight and then we're gonna hit search then you'll get taken to uh the results page like this and you'll get this uh if you're logged into your Google AdWords account you'll get about eight hundred results here. Okay. If you're not logged in and you're just using a free, it's going to be, this is maybe will be limited to 100. But when you see these results, you see tons of uh, lose weight keywords, keywords containing lose weight, ways to lose weight, uh, easiest ways to lose weight, I need to lose weight. Obviously, those, these would be uh, sorted for your, your keywords of choice. Right now, you're not going to pay attention to broad match, exact match, or phrase match because you're just going to grab the keywords as is. Okay, so you're just going to come here and go to download. And we're going to download all 808 of these, which will include the main keyword that you typed in. We're downloading this for Excel, and there they are, right there in Excel. All right, so let's just let's do that. So now our data, we're going to call this our database, has 800 keywords in it. Okay, and we're going to go back. What you want to do is you want to go and repeat this process until you get 5,000 keywords. 5,000 keywords. And keep in mind, this is 5,000 different keywords. Okay? So, if you're doing, like, for example, this weight loss example, and uh, you, you see that you use the key string of lose weight, now that's at 802. So now you can go and you figure you're going to have to do this at least four let's see five more times four or five five more times would be four thousand keywords uh five or six more times to get to the five thousand mark so now what we'll do is we'll dig into the list a little bit and let's say uh let's say we want if we want to find something that's a slightly different word here, let's go back to the page here and we'll dismiss that let's look for a keyword that is related but slightly off let's say we'll organize it by the most searches you see here this this is starting at 11 million searches per month it's a huge market if you didn't know um, and let's go with let's see weight loss just in general so we'll take that keyword now weight loss we'll come back up here and we'll try that variation of the word and we'll click search Okay, now we have 800 more keywords, and what we'll do is we'll download these. And some of these will be the same, and I'll show you how to remove the duplicates in a, in a minute. Download for Excel. All right, so now we have two Excel files, this one and this one. This is going to take this new file. We're going to click on the first uh, keyword in the first column. The first, you know, below the header keyword, which should be weight loss, the word we started with. We're going to press Shift Control End to go to the bottom of the file, 
and then we're going to just arrow left to just select the keywords only. We're only concerned with the keywords, and that was why we were holding shift. Okay, we're going to control C, copy those over to our original file because we're trying to build this list of 5,000 uniques, not copies. There we go. Now, there's all kind of ways to, to do this within Excel, but I want to show you the simple way that I found to, uh, to make this work for me. And if you have an Excel formula that you want to do this for, it's fine. But since we're only dealing with this one column, I found it easiest just to do it this way. Um, if you see we have 1,600 records here, obviously some of these were, just blow this up so you can see, some of these are going to be the same. Okay, so we want to take this whole first row, highlight that, and we want to copy that. Then we want to open a program called TextPad. If you don't have it, you can go to TextPad.com. As you see here on the screen, download it for free. Once you have TextPad open, you've already copied your file, your uh, your keywords. You can just paste those in here, and it'll look like this. And actually, let me just show the status bar so we can see here. This number at the bottom indicates that we have 16, 1,600 uh, records. So let me stretch that so we can see. 1,600 lines. Okay. We're going to tell TextPad, we want you, well, first of all, go and erase the word keyword. You don't want that as one of your keywords, and a lot of times... You can't believe how many times I've left that in there and gotten traffic that really wasn't related to, to my offer. So delete that keyword there, and then you're just going to sort the list. You're going to click on the A to Z, where it says sort. You sort it. You're going to keep it at 1 right here. You want to start from the first, the, the, uh, from 1 as the first key. Uh, ascending, case sensitive. The default settings are pretty good right there. You just leave them the same. Uh, in character code order, keep that there. And you also want to say delete duplicate lines that's an important check you delete duplicate lines you click that you click on OK TextPad automatically lines up all of the keywords it deletes the duplicates it says 42 lines deleted let me show you if you can see that here so it went, it went through and deleted 42 lines so they all these words now are completely original in the entire list and if you come to the bottom you will see that you have 1500 unique uh, keyword. Now we're just going to rinse repeat the process and keep going until we have a completely uh, filled list of 5,000 unique words in the top on the topic of weight loss. So now what we'll do is we'll put in a uh, diet. Download these all. Here's our diet list. Control Shift End. Shift left, 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 control C. Let's take that over to TextPad. And now you see that there's 2,300 records. So I won't go all the way through. I just wanted to see, give you an idea of the process. Once you get good at it, uh, it won't take you long. At most, let's say 30 minutes, okay? Don't forget to filter out the duplicates. And it's 22,229. Okay, we're going to assume you already have the 5,000. So what you did do then is you're going to head over back to this page and you're going to click on campaigns at the top here. Then you're going to click on new campaign here. Okay, so now we're going to set things up to make this whole process work. The first thing you want to do is give your campaign a name. So this could be um, diet campaign just as an example number one and then for lo locations and languages you want to select all countries and territories unless you have a, a reason to choose a specific uh, geographical uh, area or you know if, if it's a, for, for that particular niche uh, English as the language should be your normal as well unless like I said it's for another reason another type of product that's a non-English product or something like that so let's go with all countries and territories and let's go with English then scroll on down you want to uh, networks and devices this section is going to let you choose exactly which networks or and things like mobile devices only iPads things like that you just want to keep it at all uh, all available sites right there 
and all available uh, devices. Unless you're using Flash, which I probably uh, would have, you know, it won't you it won't work on a lot of phones like the iPhone and things like that. Uh, but other than that, you can put all devices as well. For the bidding and budget options here, you want to select manual bidding <clears throat> for clicks, right here. Okay, and and budget, I would recommend you putting something like fifty dollars a day if you can afford it, and you don't have to worry. It's very very unlikely that you spend the full fifty dollar a day. Uh, it's simply a higher number so that you know your your Google Image Ads campaign it can be approved quicker, because they want to really you know they want to deal with people who are are serious advertisers. And this fifty dollars a day, doing this process as detail will soon be nothing to you compared to the profits that you bring in. So you can put fifty here, or you can put twenty five if you if you feel more comfortable with that. Um, I would suggest fifty, and then you can pretty much leave the rest of the settings as is and then just click save and continue okay so here on the next page you're going to be asked to create your ad group what you want to do is enter your ad group in here or you can leave it as ad group one you're going to select image ad right there and those keywords that you picked that you that you researched already you're going to enter those in here I would suggest sticking with two thousand just pick out two thousand the first two thousand for this ad group and try to put two thousand uh, keywords in per ad group until you've used up you've depleted you know the last ad group may have 25 so you can do one of um, two th I mean 3,000 well you, sh you should do actually 2,000 2,000 uh, 1,000 that way you're keeping the maximum amount of keywords in an ad group at 2,000 alright so just to be clear on that you have ad group 1 with 2,000 keywords ad group 2 with 2,000 keywords ad group 3 with 1,000 keywords totaling 5,000 keywords technically speaking you could dump all 5,000 in this one ad group but I've seen instances where uh, Google got a little finicky with that uh, and with that so many keywords being in in one ad group and uh, sometimes they won't even care but sometimes it could be an issue so just for to be on the safe side I would break it down into the 2000 and that's just as simple as opening up the uh, the text pad scrolling up let's say we want to go to line 2000 there we go. You'll know that at the bottom of TextPad it has a 2000 right there, so you know that that's the 2000th word. And we're going to hold Shift, Control, Home, and that will take us back to the beginning of the list while highlighting all the words from 2000 up. And we're going to Control C to copy those, and we're going to get that out of here and put that right in the box. And we have 2000 words in the box now. Here for these settings, advanced ops, uh, match ops, and, uh, we're going to leave that blank. Uh, well, you're not going to be using those right now. You can go back later and add different uh, matching types. For example, broad uh, phrase match. Placements, you're not going to do anything with that. You want to come down to default bid. You want to set up your bid. Start with five cents. We've tried this over and over again. Yes, you can get one cent, and you will get one cent clicks. But if you start here at five cents as the starting bid, it will work out better for you. So for default, you want to put in 0.05, uh, display network 0.05, and you're going to save ad group. Now, more than likely, what will happen, and I'm glad this happened so that you can know what to do with this, Google with certain keywords will say, hey, look, you can't use those. They're talking about pharmacy related products or pills or something like that. So, as you can see here, acai diet pills and these, ty any type of uh, pill related word that you see here, it said these entries cannot be added due to the following reasons. All of those there. Now, they say please correct this below, but I mean, if you're just looking at this for the first time, you wouldn't know what the hell you're supposed to do with this. I mean, it's a list here. What are you supposed to do? Uh, take this list and paste it somewhere? Uh, what they want you to do is you go up to this box, okay? and you'll see that they took the words that don't fit with their criteria and they put them on top of your words and they separated by this little tiny space here okay and they assume that you would know that so all you have to do is you go to uh, keep scrolling down you say you started here it would look like this you would scroll down until you saw this space and these are the words that they don't want you to use so just delete them from the list and then your your list will start here and you can try it again by clicking on save ad group 
Let's see what they say. Okay, so they accept it, and now it's time to start uploading image ads. Now, ideally, you need to upload nine, nine different sizes of images to get the maximum exposure. Okay, here they are right here, the image ads. Uh, we're going to show you the, the manual way and the automated way to do this. Okay, the manual way, you'll, you'll upload the image, and we'll, get, we'll talk about creating images here in a, in a second. Uh, name it, it doesn't matter what you name it. Put the display URL and then put your destination URL. Your destination URL can be something like, for example, it has example.com here. It might be forward slash uh, squeeze page or opt in or something like that. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have that set correctly. Now, the sizes you'll see here are uh, the main banner sizes that will you know, be displayed throughout the Google Content Network. And they have the leaderboard. This is the 728 by 90, which is the long horizontal. We have the 468 by 60, which is smaller, slightly more, smaller than the leaderboard. We have the small square, the 200 by 200. Uh, here's one of the most popular, the 250 by 250 and the 300 by 250. Uh, well, you'll find that these will be your best converters, along with the leaderboard on certain sites. Uh, here's the wide sky, skyscraper with its 160 by 600. These are pixels, by the way, pixels, not inches. Uh, and you know all all banner ads and, and web ads and web graphics uh, go by the pixel that they they consume on the screen. So these is the width, the horizontal width, and the vertical width. Uh, and then they have a 336 by 280. Also, generally speaking, the more room, the more space that your ad takes up, the higher the conversion, depending on the the site and the ad. Uh, but we found the sweet spot really to be this 300 by 250. But you're going to test all of them, okay? Because you never know if your campaign what site is getting put on and for certain sites different different banners are going to convert uh, better than others now it's important to mention that uh, I'm using Photoshop here but you don't have to use Photoshop for what you're going to be doing you can absolutely use paint and we actually did a test okay it was a buddy of ours who was a Photoshop expert Photo I mean he can make movie type posters with Photoshop high in high resolution high quality graphics all that so we put him to the test he created nine banners and then we used uh, our other partner who doesn't know how to use Photoshop. They just use Paint. Okay, they use Paint, and they use Basic. I and mean, this is the, this is the type we're going to show you how to create here, uh, which is a basic banner. But it uses a strong call to action. It relies on the actual text in the banner. So it's just getting a, it's like a dual purpose ad. You have a text ad, but it's really a banner because it's a graphic. And the 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 little cheap text ads, the little cheap paint ads, out pulled every single time every single time alright so I would suggest don't get hung up on the banner copy because you're gonna test test and test again alright you'll you'll find out you'll quickly find out what works and what doesn't if you want to get fancy later you can you can hire somebody to do graphics for you or you can go and uh, attempt to do it yourself but for now I'm gonna show you how to get the bare minimum graphic that you would need to get the high conversion these are the exact same banner types that we use to get the 5.9 conversion rate off of those uh, 1,700 visitors, uh, which turned out really, really well for us. Okay, so head on over to Paint or Photoshop if you have it. If you don't have Photoshop, feel free to take the 30-day trial that they offer. And what you want to do is we're going to create nine different sizes for each of the banner supported banner types, supported image types within Google AdWords. All right. So we'll start with uh, we'll just start with uh, one of my favorites, and then we'll go. And you'll see how how this is done. So for the 300 by 250, we're just going to go to File, and we're going to go to New. And this is the pixel right, right here. So we want the 300 for the width, and for the height, we want 250. We're going to click OK. And there's our banner. All right. Now you can do a few of these at a time if you want, or you can just do one at one, at one by one. Uh, you see here next we may we, we may need a 468 by 60 so we'll just go to new four sixty eight by sixty there we go uh, we'll just zoom in which is control plus sign get a good size of it there all right so you can repeat that and create, you know, all the blank banners first if you want. I usually create about, you know, four or five of them first, and 
and move on but you might want to create all of them just so that you have them open by the way I want to mention if you're promoting if you're doing this for an affiliate program or some, some you know someone else's site where it's not your own program if it's a CPA offer or something like that you want to use test their banner that they may have had first you can test their banner you don't even have to create a lot of times they'll have banners that they've already ran tests for and, and optimized and found that they work the best but if not and you should probably do this anyway you want to hop back over to your, your graphics program and, uh, and and crank out a few of these as well now over several tests we've shown it's, it's been proven depending on the site that it's on that you want either an eye-catching background which would be you know a, a red uh, a green a yellow or a all black or all white background the all black background didn't perform as well depending on the niche it did okay in making money niches stock niches uh, but the all white is the all-time you know the all-time pace set, pace setter it's pretty consistent and this I, I, I believe it has something to do with the fact that most website backgrounds are white so it it blends in it's almost like a big text ad on the website and it's kind of cohesive with it this is where I suggest you spend most of your time even if you have to do it old-fashioned way and grab a yellow pad and start brainstorming some uh, some ad copy you can do that another way uh, what I would suggest is to you know while you're adding to your let's call it your swipe file of different things that you want your ads to say you can head over to Google for example in this example we put in lose belly fat and you can take a look at what text ads people are running why you have belly why you have a fat belly okay top 10 shocking reasons and ways on how to get rid of your belly fat well there you go there's a perfect text ad that you can convert into a uh, banner ad so you would just come here and let's say let's go with the uh, blue text okay so here it is uh, let's see why is your belly fat click here to see how easily I lost mine that little ad I will put against any high polish gradient filled slick graphic ad out there and almost would guarantee that it would out pull okay that is the extent of your image ad creation abilities that is all you need alright if you can change the font of the text you may want to play with the different fonts and, and, and stylings and you'll get different testings you can do you can make this you know italicized uh, you know we, we can we can play with the handwriting font sometimes we've noticed that something like that uh, with, the, with the, the cursive font or the, the the print font but just handwriting style may attract the eye on, on a page that has nothing but print and uh, you'll find a, a little spike in click throughs there as well so it's going to be important to test but you can do that and you can just go down and work your way down the different sizes taking that same ad uh, it would just be a matter of dragging to that banner and then resizing it so that it fits from within. Just turn there. And you can make it bigger and make it fit. The point is that as long as it's simple and it has a strong call to action, you will get the clicks, okay? You it, it'll do the trick for you. You can always be improving, but this will get you started. So what you're going to see now are, is some of the top uh, actually ad copy uh, text that we use that you can use for yourself as well. Number one would be the top X ways to do something. The top 10 ways to burn off the belly fat, to uh, lose 10 pounds by next week. Okay, This ad copy, this call to action, uh, converts really well. How to is always a proven winner. So how to do something in X amount of time okay how to like using the same example how to burn off uh, you know 10 pounds in five days etc how to earn five hundred dollars profit your first 10 days online or something like that next the how to even if call to action okay now you want to go and click display ad builder and when you get here you're gonna 
be able to see different ads that Google is going to give you templates for to use for your ads. And this is really easy because you've already gone through and you've created your ads manually. Well, now you're going to go and just click on, uh, you want to find the highest click through. Google is going to tell you which ads get the highest click through. So you just click that and it says, here's our highest click through ads. Okay. So then it's just your job to go and uh, you can preview the sizes or you can just go ahead and click on it. And they're going to give you that that ad to start with. So now you can just type in, give it a name, test ad, and let's say headline. The headline we used was Why is your belly fat? Why is your belly fat? Question mark. Okay, and it'll it'll go through and it'll update. Uh, let's say description line one would be click here to see and uh, all right let's see here so we have uh, click below to see how I easily lost mine let's go with the all capital And then you have a click button, and it can you can change the text for that button to say, uh, "Click here," reinforcing the call to action. And you can change the color of the button. You can change the color of the background. Uh, put change the color of your destination URL. And then what you want to do is you it will not only uh, create that one size for you. Google will go and create all the sizes for you. All right, so you say see all sizes, and then there you go. It takes your text and goes and creates all of the banners for you. It doesn't get any easier than that, and they're telling you that uh, this is one of their high converting banners. All right, you just click uh, save, add those to your campaign, and now all of your keywords will be loaded, all of your banners will be loaded, and you'll be waiting for Google's approval process. All right, that is all there is to getting tons of traffic from Google dirt cheap so at this point you're essentially done you've created the image next you just you know you'll just go ahead and reduce the CPC bid you know you'll reduce your bid from five cents your CPM bid I'm sorry you'll reduce your cost per click bid from five cents down to four cents okay and then you'll really reduce that from four cents down to three cents from three cents to, and then all the way down to one cent over the and that's do that over the next five days okay in the coming weeks that come up and then what happens is this is this is just flat out your, your your volume will stay there you'll still be getting the same amount of volume but your traffic will be rock bottom and you could be seeing traffic like this in no time for this dirt cheap price okay now the last logical question you may have is where do I send the traffic? And this is really quite simple. A lot of people will be tempted to direct this traffic, you know, directly to a ClickBank offer or affiliate offer or if you have your own product directly to the sales page. And there's nothing wrong with directing it to your sales page. Um, but Google would rather you not, okay? Google does not want you, especially if you're sending it to someone else's sales page. Google still does not favor sending the traffic directly to a page you don't control so if you're going to send it directly to somebody else's sales page I would recommend sending it to an opt-in page that you control first okay it's in and it has multiple benefits because number one it's going to give you all the subscribers okay that you can sell to later and then number two is very few people are going to buy the very first time they land on your sales page coming from a banner anyway they they want to get adjusted and and get follow-up information or they want to come back uh, so it's, we just found it's better to send the traffic to an opt-in page, a squeeze page first. And the squeeze page should be very simple and just offer them a free incentive for opting in. Uh, and, and it should be kind of cohesive with the tone of the banner. Okay, so if your banner was saying, why is your tummy still fat? It would be great if you had a squeeze page that says seven secret tips to discover why your tummy is still fat. Because that's what they just clicked on that banner. And then they opt in down there in your funnel, and you can sell to them, and uh, so on. 
Another great tip is to send people to quiz pages. If you send your traffic to a quiz page, something like this uh, that another top marketer has used, uh, what happens is the user gets involved. Okay, uh, take the, this free 10 question business quiz. Find out how well your business stacks up when it comes to market. Okay, so it's going to make the kind of make the visitors qualify themselves, make them prove themselves before they get the 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 benefit of whatever the banner says. You know, this could be take this this free five question quiz to see if you really have what it takes to lose 10 pounds in seven days okay you can use that if as a matter of fact we've used something almost identical to that with crazy results alright so you can use something like that and then you just ask questions that would be related to that market you know this one says how do you communicate with your prospects and the customers you could say how often do you exercise uh, during the week you know how often do you eat before, within 30 minutes of going to bed and give them various options once you do that and then you 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 send them to a ne the next page do not do not do not do not give them the results on the next page alright show a little graphic show a little you know, even if it's not moving just show an animated something or show something still that says processing results and then it says then t then what you want to do is give them the opt-in box because if this is the first thing that they see coming from your banner they fill this quiz and they haven't they don't see an opt-in box so they're not turned off then they click this button here submit they should be taken immediately to an opt-in box to enter the name and email Let's do this and see how, uh, how I think this is Evan's site. Let's see how he handles it. You see the analyzing graphic there, and then voila. It brings you to a page. It says your custom an analysis is ready. Just enter your email below so that it can be sent to you. Person enters their name, email address, phone number. So you can just have them enter their email address if you like after seeing a little loading graphic. Uh, and then they're off. Okay, now they're opted in, and they they, they they feel compelled to go and open that email to see their results but more importantly they've added themselves to your process now that you can put your offer in front of them okay folks don't overlook the simplicity of this this is killer okay the people are using this with fifty thousand dollar a day campaigns online on Facebook okay because it's it's user friendly it doesn't turn off the search engine they don't mind you sending people to a quiz that provides value and um, you also want to make sure that the quiz itself or the opt-in box or the squeeze page that they reside all on your blog all right or your site because Google's going to check out your site before they approve your ads and this may be a reason why your ads don't approve you want you want your ad, your site to look as boring or as as standard as Google would like to see it so you need to make sure that there's a site map you need to make sure that there's a terms and conditions page a privacy policy okay uh, you want to make sure there's a contact us page you want to make sure that there's uh, 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 any type of for your opt-in box that says we don't spam but right below it in tiny print you wait if it's a blog you want to make sure you have a few posts on there so that it looks like the, 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 the blog has been around for some time do all of these things and Google Google's gonna check to see you know where you're sending your traffic to if they even want you in, in their network you know they want you as an advertiser and uh, if you if you include those things and you you test your traffic, what you, they don't have a problem with the squeeze page like they do on the pay per click side of things. So feel free to send your traffic to your squeeze page without uh, you know fearing getting the the evil hand of Google. Just make sure that, that squeeze page has footer links at the bottom that links also back to your home page, your privacy policy, contact policy, terms and conditions, etc. If you do that, you'll be fine. Okay, that's where you send your traffic. At this point, all you all that's left for you to do is to simply test everything. Take action and test everything. Test your ads, test your landing pages, test the copy, test the color of the page, test the color and the copy of the ad, and then monitor your results. Monitor your clicks and your conversions. You'll find that you'll be able to get more traffic than you need for any campaign, any opportunity that you're starting, any business, and you'll be able to do it quickly and effectively. And what happens? What happens now is that you can leverage free traffic. Okay. Now, in the beginning, I was saying what's better than free traffic, and we said targeted traffic. Well, I can do you one better than that. What's better than targeted cheap traffic is free targeted traffic. Okay, because now you're going to get traffic that costs nothing, but is targeting the keywords that you've just already discovered. 
because you've just gotten data back. You know what works. You know what ad copy works. You know what key. And by doing the research on your on your stats, if you don't know how to do that, just go to your site forward slash control panel, and then look at your stats. Scroll down and find out what words people were coming to your site from from within the Google Content Network, okay, or from within Google's uh, page, and you'll see that. Uh, that will show you the natural keywords that people are finding your site from throughout the search engines. You know, a lot of people will bookmark from your free traffic, from your cheap traffic, and they'll uh, they'll come back, or they'll be, you'll get discovered. You'll get getting more traffic to your site is just healthy overall. The more time people spend on your site with the with the cheap traffic, it adds to Google's uh, usability algorithm. They want to see they they check your logs, man. They check your server logs. They check how long people stay on your site. They check all of that. And the, the fact that you're having real people are all around the world checking out your site, clicking around links in your site, uh, staying on your site, reading articles on your site, it just adds to the value of what, in, in Google's eyes, what your site has to offer. But now, what if I told you there was a way to get just as much traffic, but to get it all for free? We've discovered the next logical step to take even if you've just done cheap traffic on a small scale, if you've just applied everything that you've just learned, uh, you'll be able to use the, this information, but now take it to the next level and to pretty much go out and pick any market you want and catapult that site to the top of the search engine rankings for that targeted traffic that you're looking for. Okay, this type of this this is the type of traffic tactic that will completely change the way that you market online. You see, this is a proven formula for dominating Google's first page for absolutely any keyword you choose. Now, you may be saying, why didn't we just start here? Because you needed to learn how to get the data, all right? This is a true one-two punch combination. Having paid traffic, cheap paid traffic, and free traffic funneling to your site is the best situation, the best scenario you could possibly have for any website campaign or offer that you're putting up the system that I'm talking about now easily ranks for tough keywords okay so it's not like it's unlike any other uh, SEO or tra free traffic uh, process that you may have learned in the past especially uh, if you use it with the system that you've just learned alright so by combining the two we've seen fantastic results happen and here's why if you take two sites and we've tested this you take two sites one's brand new no traffic to it and you're trying to rank that site for a very competitive keyword okay and you take the site number this is say that site a and then you take site b and you're gonna try to rank this for a really tough keyword in a high competitive niche but with this site you apply the system that you just learned in this video series okay that you just learned in this video you do that and you set up the free you set up the paid cheap paid traffic with Google image ads you get lots of users coming to the site you put it on Google's radar Google knows about the site because hey you've just gotten 2,000 visitors in like seven days to the site and they all stick around on the site they interact with the site and Google knows about that site now you start from that point you both you try to rank both of those sites which site do you think is going to get climb the rankings faster all right if you guess the site that uses the system that you just learned you're absolutely correct that site will rank faster every time than the brand new site that Google knows nothing about with what given all things equal all right given all backlinking is equal all setup is equal domain age everything is equal Google's gonna go with who they know because they can easily see that this site gets X amount of traffic and these people spend a lot of time here and they love it so this site is gonna outrank this new site who we know nothing about combining these two traffic tactics is lethal by having floods of free traffic coming in and and cheap traffic coming in all at the same time like you said it's a perfect one-two punch combination uh, and you'll be able to go after any almost any keyword that you you target no more going after the long tail five word keywords you can pick high traffic keywords to rank for and and do so in a way that nobody else will pretty much know what the hell you're doing so go ahead start your your, your Google image ad campaigns get the traffic flowing to your sites uh, click the link on this page to find out more about the powerful uh, final piece to this whole traffic puzzle and I'll see you on the other side take care